Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install shaders on Minecraft so you can make your game look like this to this. So it's a pretty simple process. So I'll show you guys exactly how to do it in this video today. But recently, Optifine has been on a hiatus, so they haven't been updated to the current version of Minecraft. So yeah, I'll show you guys how to do it with another software similar to Optifine. So let's hop right into the video. So first things first, you're gonna want to go and open this website right here, Irish Shaders. I'll leave a link to their website in the description below. But once you're on here, it's pretty simple. You just want to click download universal jar. So let's go ahead and click that and it will download it right here. Now, once you've done that, you can go ahead and find any shaders that you want to add in Minecraft. So you can just go to CurseForge, which is a really popular website for this. And you can just go to CurseForge and go to Minecraft and search for whatever shaders you want. I really like complementary shaders. You can just search for that. And complementary shaders right here. These ones are really good. So I would suggest them. I'll leave a link to them in the description below, but I'll be using these ones. So so once you find the shader set you want, you're going to be brought to the description right here, but you want to go ahead and click on files. Once you click on files, it'll show all these options right here, but you just want to look for the newest version. So this one right here, 1.20.4. So whatever the newest version for you is, it should just be at the top right here and it should say the newest uploaded date. So once you find the shader that you want, you click on the three dots to the right of the shader, it'll give you the prompt to download it or download the file. So click, go ahead and click that and it'll download it. Now, once you do that, it'll download it right there and you're almost done. Once you do that you can drag both of the, the shaders and the installer onto their desktop right here and you're going to want to go ahead and open iris installer so double click on it and it will open right here so once it's open if it didn't open for you like this then you probably don't have java installed so if you don't have java installed you're going to want to go to this website right here i'll leave it in the description below but to download it it's really simple you scroll down you click on jdk 17 once you click on that you're going to want to scroll down even more and then find whichever system you want to use so i'd be on windows but you might be on mac or linux but go ahead and find the installer for that version so it would be the 64 installer right here so you go ahead and click on that and it'll install it and then you double click on it and set it up so it's pretty straightforward but if you need help you can just search for a tutorial on youtube if you guys want a tutorial like that from me then go ahead and leave a comment down below but once you have java installed you should be able to just open up iris installer and it will show up like this once you do that you just want to go ahead and click the game version the newest game version that is available so for me that's 1.20.4 go ahead and click iris install then add the installation directory as minecraft it should automatically do that by default but if it didn't you can go ahead and add that and you just click install i already have it installed so i'm not going to do it but it should download pretty quick if it doesn't then it, it's probably because you haven't played the newest version of minecraft yet so go ahead and make sure that you have that downloaded and then it should install just fine once you do that you can go ahead and open the minecraft launcher once it loads it'll show up right here and it should automatically choose the iris and sodium for 1.20.4 but if it doesn't you can click on it and see if it's here but if it isn't there you can go ahead and click on installation at the top of the screen right here and you should be able to see it somewhere around here if you can't make sure that modded is checked so if it's not checked then all the modded versions are not available but if it is checked then they should show up right here however if that still doesn't work you can go ahead and click new installation right here and you want to name it whatever you want then go ahead and go to the latest version and you want to go ahead and find the iris fabric loader so go ahead and click on that and add it right here then once you do that you can just use the default directory and you can add the resolution if you want to and you could just click create and it should work however i have already have it right here so i'm going to go ahead and click play on it so it's going to load for a bit if it's your first time doing it and it might take a bit for it to load but if it isn't then it should load pretty fast so i'll be right back once you're on here if you go to options and then you go to video settings this should show up right here and it should be a screen like this if it isn't then you want to go back and make sure you did all the steps correctly but if it is then you can go ahead and join a world real quick and once you are on a world as you can see the shaders are already turned on for me but if they are not turned on for you yet you can go ahead and click escape and then go ahead and find options click on that go ahead and click on video settings right here and then you want to click on shader packs out of these five six options at the top once you click on shader packs it'll show this right here shaders will probably be disabled like this so if you don't have them added yet what you want to want to do make sure that your minecraft is not full screen you want to grab the shaders and just drag them in and drop them right here as you can see it's really simple to add them so you drag them drop so just go ahead and do that and then you should be able to add it so not have two complementary zips in here right now but you get the gist you just add whatever you want by dragging it in here 
Now to enable it, you just click on the one that you want to enable and then you just click apply and that should load and it should add it just like that. And as you can see, you now should have shaders. You can change the video settings for the shaders pretty easily as well. If you go back to the shader packs and then once you're clicked on the shader pack that you want to use, if you click on shader pack settings in the bottom right, then it'll show all these options right here. And you could just go through all of them and change whatever you want. As you can see, you can change all these and just go through whatever you want and just click apply once you're done and you can customize it however you want and you have shaders on minecraft so that is how you can get shaders on minecraft i hope this video is helpful if it was i'd really appreciate a like and subscribe leave any questions you have in the comment section below i'll do my best to answer them and i will see you guys next time